there's also reaction uh, coming in from Donald Trump. Apparently, he said on Truth Social, the Biden-Harris administration did not properly protect me. Yeah. Obviously, the Secret Service is a professional well, I mean, operation. Yeah. The, you know, the, the fact to say something like they did not protect me, it just sounds just wildly irresponsible. What? No matter how much you hate our corrupt media, it's not nearly enough. This is even more absurd now, considering that the former U.S. Secret Service Director Kimberly Cheeto just resigned in disgrace and should face criminal charges. So after a year's worth of inciting riots during the Trump administration and inciting this assassination attempt with their endless anti-Trump hate propaganda, CNN is now downplaying the assassination attempt and the failure of the Secret Service. It's almost like they have no other choice because Trump rightly criticized them, so now they automatically have to take the opposite position, no matter how utterly insane it is. That's what it seemed like watching CNN host Jim Acosta and analyst Jonathan Wackjob accuse Trump of lying or somehow exaggerating the failure of the Secret Service detail. I hope you have a spew bucket nearby. And there's also reaction uh, coming in from Donald Trump. Apparently he said on Truth Social, the Biden-Harris administration did not properly protect me and I was forced to take a bullet for democracy. It was my great honor to do so. I mean, that, that appears to be- 100% undeniably accurate, <laughs> right? Appears to be uh, what the former president is saying. Perhaps he's not aware that the director has stepped down, but that's what he's saying right now on Truth Social. Let me go back to uh, Jonathan Wackrow, uh, who's still with us, I believe. Uh, Jonathan, um, when you hear the former president saying something like that, uh, what, what's your reaction? I mean, obviously, the Secret Service is a professional well, I mean, operation. Yeah. You know, the, the fact to say something like they did not protect me, it just sounds just wildly irresponsible. <laughs> what the fuck am I watching? What? Wildly irresponsible? You mean like gaslighting the country about Biden's health for the last four years? Oh, that was different. Donald Trump quite literally took a bullet to the face for the country and democracy because the Secret Service, FBI, and local police failed to do their job. Literally the only job they're tasked with. I mean, Acosta just said that Cheadle resigned. Why would she do that, Jim? It's certainly not because the Secret Service did their job professionally and increasingly by the day, it looks as if they let it happen. And the only reason Trump is even alive is because he turned his head at exactly the right millisecond. We now know for a fact that the Secret Service and local police knew the guy was there, had a range finder, and was on the freaking roof 30 minutes before Trump was shot. Why was Donald Trump even on that stage? You know what, I know what everybody knows. It. Even people in the audience and saw the threat and tried to warn the Secret Service. AOC dropped one of the best questions during yesterday's hearings, asking why the security range was too short to cover the AR-15's range. Approximately 200 yards. 200 yards. Now, the individual uh, used an AR-15 in order to uh, act out his assassination attempt. An AR-15 has a range of about four to 600 yards. My question is why does the Secret Service perimeter, um, why is the Secret Service protective perimeter shorter than one of the most popular semi-automatic weapons in the United States? There are a number of weapons out there uh, with a number of ranges. What the actual f did you just say to me right now? Get out of my sight. Yeah, but the AR-15 is the most popular firearm in America. So why would stoic career professionals not think of that? That's a good question. Yeah, I mean, he's just capitalizing on the moment and you know, it, it, it's, uh, he's looking at this through the color of politics, not the reality of the situation. The reality is, is that the women and men that protect the former president uh, and now the Republican nominee um, you know, are, are career Secret Service agents. They are politically agnostic. Uh, they don't, you know, uh, align to, you know, uh, you know, politics or a political agenda. You know, what they do is they operate day in and day out in a threat-based uh, uh, paradigm and apply the level of protection that is necessary to protect uh, the former president. Well, 
That's bullshit. There is only two options here. Either these people are completely incompetent going against what these two CNN people are saying that they are career professionals or they allowed it to happen because they are endlessly propagandized with the message that Trump is literally Hitler, is literally a dictator who will literally end elections and America. <laughs> Literally, literally. These guys probably thought that they were heroes for allowing and maybe even coaxing this into happening. It seems that a lot of Democrats would agree with them as they wish the shooter had not missed. All right, folks, that's all I have for that. But let me know what you think in the comments. And if you're still here, might as well hit that like button and subscribe. I post on a regular basis, so keep checking back for more. Thanks a lot.